Hi guys and welcome back to another Let's Build episode. So last time we built up a couple of towers, extended the wall and actually went into the next district a little bit, as well as finishing up the houses on the main road of East Point. So quite a bit of a kind of milestone in this entire series. Well, today we're gonna actually complete another milestone. We are gonna finish up the northernmost point of East Point. So we've now got that nice area that we did like last time. We're now gonna expand on it. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you're interested in watching the full series, I'll leave a link in the card above, as well as in the description to uh, both the Let's Build Pataria series and Let's Build Lordsport series. So with this area, this is actually the area we're gonna get going on to. Um, I decided to do it a little bit different. I wanted to do some planning. I know I've done this in some of the other episodes as well. Uh, but with this area in particular, I was thinking, you know, we need to actually plan this out. We've got that path that comes at the back, comes from the back of the arena, uh, goes past the statue. And I also want to do an actual garden because, you know, space is at a premium in Lordsport. So with the courthouse being so big, I just thought, you know, it's actually going to need a garden. Also that area itself, if we put a house in front of it, it would have blocked the really nice facade of the house. I wanted to open up a little bit of this area, make it look quite interesting. So that's why we're going for a garden there. Also got these two houses, so these are going to be mostly shop fronts. Uh, the light blue one, that one's actually going to have at the front of it lots and lots of stalls. Uh, and there might even be some stalls going into the magenta wall one as well at the back there. But the idea being that, you know, we've got lots more stalls going on and it's far enough away from the main square that we've got in East Point uh, for it to be there. With the light blue house as well, uh, I actually wanted to have this where it blocks the view of the courthouse. So although you can see it, it, you can't like see all of it. So it kind of makes you go around that corner and then you see this garden, it's all open, it's all really nice. Um, because when I was standing down on the ground from there, I was thinking, do I just have this as an open courtyard? So not have the light blue house um, and just have it as a courtyard, have lots and lots of stalls out there. But it just looked a little bit strange. It looked a little bit too open, uh, which sounds really strange. But because it hasn't got this kind of courtyard around it, it's not an actual courtyard. Uh, it just doesn't look quite, quite right. So having that house in there to block the view has really worked quite nicely. So getting onto the garden, we've got this path that goes all the way, so putting in lots of slabs and stairs on here. I want to clear away the entire area. Put in a couple of paths and put in a bit of a raised area as well, so using the different heights that we've got. So when you're from the road or if you're in the garden itself, you can then look down at these different layers going on. Um, I also needed to push back the cliff a little bit, so it was quite, or the hill even. The hill had quite a lot of gravel in it, so I pushed that back to make it more of a cliff. Um, it gave us a lot more of a flat space in order to build more on there. So putting in a little bit of a bench, and of course what I want to do is put in a tree. So this, I think, I'm pretty sure, this is the first oak tree in Lordsport. Um, a lot of the trees are kind of of the kind of like pine variety, pines and firs. Uh, but I want to put in a nice oak tree. It was something that they had brought in and had been grown, you know, over a long, long time. We've got lots of the kind of like pink flowers in the back there. I want to have these different areas of different colour with lots of different flowers uh, in there to really kind of variate it and make it feel like you're going for a journey. We've got some birch trees now going up the side of the path because we've got a path that goes on to some of the back roads, um, which kind of joins in quite nicely because it's such a hilly area. It actually makes it look really nice in terms of the levels. And I want to put in a couple more here. So we've got another bench. We've got all the different colours of flowers coming in here. So we've got some yellows and we've got the tulips. We've got the blues in there as well. Um, it just adds in quite a nice amount of variety. And then just back up there, we've got a little bit of a pond on the side, which then empties out because, of course, that's where the water will get collected. So moving into this building here, I changed it out for pink wool. Um, the reason being that I was using magenta for my actual cobblestone walls, so I didn't want it by accident, you know, paint on some of those colours and then have to go back in and edit it, so I decided to switch those out. Um, but with this one, it's got quite a few different levels. We've got this area at the back, which I'm thinking of having like some sort of workshop. Now, I'm not sure if I'll go with, potentially go with a blacksmith. Um, it's kind of a bit hidden away, but then again, because it's next to the courthouse, I can't imagine that being uh, something, but something where we've got this like little workshop right at the back, which is open to the air. If you guys can think of something that would be appropriate and would work in there, that would be really nice to hear from your comments, because uh, I'm kind of a bit stuck on that unless I go with a blacksmith. Um, but with this one, 
what I want to do with the back streets around this for this building and the next building that we're going to get onto is have archways at the front so you can kind of walk in and out. And we had this initially in Lawsport in the first couple episodes we had actually built this kind of a thing um, and I've actually not done a load of it uh, since then. So I'm trying to bring that back in, trying to bring those styles that I've uh, kind of used before, or those techniques I've used before and bring them back into use. So that's what I want to do with this. Then it's got this nice kind of balcony area around the front and then some uh, kind of like a bit of a roof there with some with some nice windows on top of it. Um, along the side I decided to jut this out a little bit as well because we've got this kind of nice area. This would be a nice kind of view going down onto the gardens. So I was like, well, I can just imagine that they'd push this out. They'd make more of a window kind of area for it. So I wanted to go with that, you know, using what we've got around it. So with this one again, similar to the other one where we've got these archways at the front, this is where we're going to actually have stools. So we'll get on to in a little bit of um, later on in the episode, we'll get on and actually build some stools, but I wanted to go with that. Um, I also wanted to, with the kind of edge that's again facing that garden and got that garden path, um, having that pushed out. Um, with this building in particular, I actually decided to push out the sides of it. So this is something I don't usually do, uh, but I decided to push out the sides. And then actually when I did the roof, I was thinking, okay, how's this going to work out? Because it's going to be pushed out on these sides. I'm going to I'm gonna have to do something. And I've decided to push it in again. And you'll see when we put in the actual roof itself, it actually looks quite nice. It looks quite cool. Um, I wasn't totally sure how it would work out. But it then looks like you've got these, like um, a floor or two floors, depending on which side of the building you're on, are actually pushed outwards. Um, and then they move back in for the main roof. I really like it. I really like the way of way it's kind of looked and the style. And we're definitely going to be doing that more in Lawsport as we expand the city uh, onwards and outwards. Especially as we get into the next next district, uh, we can do this kind of thing. And you can see that kind of now working with those windows. It just adds something completely different and really does look different. And we've got lots of brick as well down at the bottom there you can see over those archways I want to have this one rather than having the upper floor being pushed out I want to have it quite distinct looking almost like it's been added uh, you know later on so we've got a bit of a grocery store put in there I wanted to do lots of variation we've got a basket weaver so we've got baskets and barrels uh, here we've got a wine merchant so all of them kind of trying to create lots of variety here we've got some breads as well and then I decided, you know, we need something different. We need actually something that we haven't got in this city before. So in the shade, I was like, right, we're going to build some pies. We're going to have a pie store. Uh, so they've got lots of like blueberry, raspberry type pies, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then right at the back, although you didn't get to see it, we've got a pasta shop as well. So I decided to go with that. So here is the finished build, guys. We've got this garden. I am so happy how this turned out. I love the look of the courthouse from this area. It just looks, it just looks epic and awesome and having that bit of open area just looks great. We've got that path that then leads up to some of the back roads. And then we've got the buildings that we've put in here where we're gonna have a bit of a marketplace. So we've got the bread store, uh, we've got wine, we've got baskets and barrels, uh, we've got the groceries and pies and also some pasta as well out on the street. But um, I'm loving how this is finished up this corner of Lordsport and East Point. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.